Uh, we carry these every year. It's a big time of the year to, to uh, move some hay with them. I'm just going to start from the front and move back with standard features that we offer. Um, we're going to be looking at an 8 bale, but we do carry the 10 and the 9 bale. Um, we're going to make this pretty quick, but this is for guys that aren't really sure how they work. So the entire platform actually pivots right on your ball. So this whole trailer is going to pivot left when you actually dump your bales. Square tube, all the wiring is in metal conduit. That's important all the way down so you can be as rough as you want with these trailers and you're not going to mess the wires up. Pipe, that's a 10 inch uh, tube all the way down. That's your main frame. Two 7,000 pound axles, one brake, 10 ply radial tires. This is your actual pivot point. So none of this below the pipe here moves. There's a big pipe under there and we're gonna move around to the side. I'm gonna show you how to actually pivots over so that you can drop your bales. So the way that this works, um, a lot of guys pick these up because they don't want a tractor in each location. One tractor will load this from the rear. You take your round bale and you put it on there and you keep pushing them up until it's fully loaded. And then the guy can take it to the farm or wherever you're dropping it off. You'll come over here. Most guys don't strap these down. They sit well enough in here that they don't need to be strapped down. When you're lined up on where you want to drop them, it's real easy, real simple. There's one pin. This is your bar. This is how you're going to get your leverage to dump these. I've done it myself. We have guys that have done it locally. Not an issue, but all you're doing is you're going to straighten this bar out. It's going to undo your safety catches. That's what keeps it from tilting. Push that over. It's going to release those safety catches. And then you're going to start prying on it. But it is important to remember, you can see the whole thing going. It's going to go on its own at some point. And once it does, you just let go of it. It'll tip and then come back down. Bring it back. The ball is on. Put your pin back. And that is the easy hay hauler. Um, we always warranty our own products. We have a bay right behind me that is dedicated to it. And we've got a one year on uh, bumper to bumper, five year structural lifetime on, on all welds. So we'll back the product afterwards. Um, 